Winston Arissa on Ilios. Are against Widow in the scenario, or do you think Doomfist? Never mm, not Doom Doomfist. I think Doomfist is just always better than against but Widow. But I'm just thinking of all the... Shot. All the high grounds that Widow can get I on. I don't, like, care that much about winning. Like, don't get me wrong, I want to win or whatever, but, like, I don't actually, like, care that much. Like, because you care to improve instead, because this is scrims, and you don't win vic- you don't buy victories with scrim bucks. We- we should just, you know, treat it as a normal scrim. There you go. Great mentality. I don't even think it's like- cause like- Read comment. Thank you for the reminders, Pav. Uh, what was the comment here? My team has recently started scrimming 4k teams as we were really stomping Masters teams. However, we can't seem to find much success. We have also been losing to Mercy Zen comps a lot, which feels as that comp is almost never played anymore. Um, we play Ana Lucio a lot, as well as Ana Zen on first point attacks. Really is curious how I can improve my main tank play, specifically space creation and diving to split the enemy, as well as when to peel as monkey. Um, I also feel that from watching many of your VOD reviews, I understand how to play my heroes and what ways I can best utilize them against different team comps and with my team comp. I think my struggle is mostly trying to execute in-game. I think if you were to review my game and point out the specific examples, that would really help me as that is how I learn the most easily in school. For instance, diving between the main group and backline is Winston to split their team, but doing it the wrong time or wrong spot. Thanks to your thanks in advance. Love your streams. I'm sure even if I don't get picked, I can still learn even more from today's stream. It's very kind of you. Okay, so execution. You feel like you know what you're doing and your role in compositions, but you also want to do make space. I'm going to take a guess. This is a Masters. This is a Winston player. I'm going to guess that he's overplaying. Let's see if I'm right. The match literally doesn't. Okay. Are you here, Gears? Did you want to join me on comms? Yeah. Hello. How you doing, EMF? Pretty good. Yeah. So what do I call you? Do I call you Gears? Um, I usually just have people call me by my actual name, which is just Zach. So okay, if you want to do that. We'll do that. Chat, say hello. Does it? The Chat say hi, apparently, which is like hello and hi. Oh, I, it's okay. I actually make that, that same hello, hi thing. I do that sometimes. Hi, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So tell me a little bit about this team that you're playing on. So the team is a Masters team, but you're scrimming Grandmasters teams because you crushed other Masters teams. That's uh, that's correct? Yeah. So um, the last Open Division that we competed in, uh, we went like seven and three, I think. Congratulations. And we were like really Seven and three for a Masters maybe. team. Yeah. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Um, We did get like a more easy schedule. Like we only had to play like two like GM teams and both of them were like 4.5K. So, but like mostly we were playing against like Masters teams and we were like really like destroying a lot. Um, And then, yeah, we've just been kind of running into trouble recently. I don't know if it's specifically because of like the new like meta shift right now after World Cup and like uh, Ash coming into the game in different uh, nerfs, but yeah. Okay, you're gonna take a quick drink here. Um, so you're playing Winston and Arisa on this one. Yeah. Um, now, what are the compositions mainly that you're gonna be working on for Ilios, just so we know in advance? Um, I believe on this first map, uh, I wanted to go Sombra Doom, but I think we end up going. Sombra Widow, maybe, or like NG Widow. Yep. And then Monkey Diva, and then uh, Ana Lucio. So mostly a dive team, not playing goats much. Um, I so I tend to not like to run goats like all the time, like goats forehead. But um, we do like we we do play very well on goats usually. Um, so. Like uh, in open division, we ran goats a lot, but um, I but we also like have had really good success playing dive, because uh, as soon as Hammond came out, I really thought like Hammond would be a main tank as soon as he hit PTR, and I really grinded Hammond, mm -hmm. and we started playing Hammond Sombra Doom as soon as he hit live, and we had a That's lot of a success. really good comp, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we we had a lot of success with that. And we ran that against like other teams who were like learning goats. We like really crushed them because yeah. we had been playing that for a good amount of time. Yeah, that's a, then, like that's actually one of the compositions that Canada would have played if XQC played Hammond. So yeah, that's like a top tier composition that one. Yeah, so we got we got kind of on that train like really early, which is which I think may have been a little detrimental to us because we got like 
we got good enough at that comp to beat teams who were like learning the like new meta comps and so we we're like crushing everybody but then now i think like as hammond isn't really as good i think anymore um because this was originally he's, he's at, easily countered but he's very yeah, good yeah. against what is good being goats yeah, because when we first started running him, I abused, like, the shit out of the, like, 100 damage to everybody mechanic. <laughs> You're one of those yeah. assholes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then, the, like, there was, there was, like, one spot, I remember, on, like, Nepal, where you could do the, like, the stair slide one. So I would do two, like, I was able to do, like, 200 damage to, like, six people. I had minefield instantly. It was great. You're one of those assholes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so no, there's no Hammond in this VOD though. There is no Hammond in this VOD. Okay. Well, I'm gonna right. I'm gonna watch a little bit, and since you're here, I'll try and not go on too many tangents too early in the VOD. But uh, I'm just gonna kind of um, chat. So if you're wondering as well, whenever I have somebody on call, um, I like to get a little bit more of a deeper feel for their play style before commenting, and then we'll kind of chase down whatever rabbit hole I feel is the main issue here yeah if i may say like one more thing no i think too big uh, dang. Dang. yeah what what do you want to say um i think like what you're saying before about like me trying to like outplay like too overplay. hard. I, think, I said overplay. yeah overplay i think really rings true for me um because i i started out like in bronze like i was straight up like almost triple digit sr at one point and so like and like i was like slowly climbed up like over all the seasons and so, like, it's been just purely on, like, learning the game. And, like, I, I have had, like, a problem in the past where, like, like, when Overwatch League first came out, I, like, really, like, studied it and, like, tried to implement that in scrims. And I was just, like, playing, like, way out playing, like, too big for my pants. Like, I wasn't really playing, like, my team wasn't able to follow, I think. Okay. I think that was, that's still, like, kind of a problem, but not, like, as severe as it was at that time specifically. Anything else, or are we good? I think we're good, yeah. Okay. Go plays that are... It's, the dick's too big for your pants. Just get bigger pants. <laughs> that comes at 3,700. <laughs> Oof. Nice. Oof. I didn't want to host Wait, oh, I already took a headshot. So you're playing uh, Widowmaker Genji here with Lucio and Ana. So what is the... Uh, just are you the kind of do you have a coach on your team uh we do not so you don't but um, we can like in the like org kind of thing that we're in that we play for we can request coaching but what a weird eventually, system eventually like they had said to like try and just do VOD reviews on our own as that might help us a little more <laughs> You're part of your or an org, but fend for yourselves, damn it. I like it. Okay. So are you kind of like the main strategist on your team or is that somebody else? Are you a part of it? Um we have we've been going through like some like kind of differences. Like I'm like very, very vocal and our main support player like wants to do like the shot calling and then I usually do most of the target calling. But like because I'm like I'm a more like aggressive player, so if I like see something, right, and then like because I've studied a lot of situations, like I want to do this, and then I like, and then I, I uh, like I like try and comment. Okay, so what's the, the idea behind having the Ana instead of a Mercy for Widowmaker? Um, uh, just uh, give me a second, real quick. I have to mute for a second. Okay. Chat. Why would you have an Ana instead of a Mercy? See if you guys agree with uh, Zach here. Heals, bro. Greed. Genji's Nanoblade. Nanoblade's good. Anti. Anti is going to be hard to land in a dive v dive matchup. It's mostly going to be saved to keep the Ana themselves alive, which doesn't make a larger offensive impact. Blade and Nano, yes, yes, Nano Blade. You can still do Valk Blade, though. It still turns Blade into a one-shot, right? 120 damage-boosted beam uh, plus a 50 dash is still enough to one-shot. doesn't need to be Nano. The Nano helps for survivability, but in terms of, like, damaging one-shots, Valking and Blading is not a bad thing at all. It's kind of like a... It's like a half-baked Nano Blade. So Mercy's fine in terms of comboing. 
with Genji. Or even if you don't have your ult, you can still turn Genji's blade into one-shots. Mid-fight value? Hmm. Maybe. So what's, the, right, what's so the idea sorry. here, beside playing Ana instead of Widowmaker? Um, I think, like, we just, we sh I think we struggle a lot with just, like, we feel like we need more heals. So I think, like, our, our, and, like, I think we just, like, we've been used to playing Ana with, like, to try and get more heals, because Mercy doesn't really heal that much mm -hmm. anymore. So I think, like, we just, and because I play more aggro and, you know, like, I'm not that good, right? So, like, sometimes I feed my brains out and I need, like, that quick, like, burst to save my ass. So yep. maybe that's hey, why even we favor pros. Ana. Even pros, man. So you're actually touching on the right thing. It's not that this is wrong. This is just kind of like a compositional shift, and you are correct in that uh, uh, higher-level teams have encountered this same problem in that Mercy simply does not put out enough healing. And since the fight, or the, like, the, the fight... The focus of the fight, I suppose, has moved away from the snipers having battles and more about the tanks having battles and the tanks preventing the snipers from getting any value. The uh, impact of having a mercy has become significantly less because if your tanks are just getting steamrolled because one of them is getting pocketed by an Ana and the other is getting pocketed by a mercy, then you don't get the benefit of mercy in the first place. The other thing is that if you're diving onto an Ana, you have to worry about the anti, you have to worry about the nade. Sorry, you have to worry about the sleep dart. The Ana is going to be fighting back. Um, the Mercy has less kind of um, ways in order to basically tell attackers to fuck off. So it's a more vulnerable target, doesn't provide as much healing. Uh, and whereas Ana both can be uh, easier to save, especially if you're Lucio, and Ana alone is just kind of a lot more, um, a lot better at keeping tanks up. So this is kind of. This is the correct solution. There's nothing wrong with this composition here. It's a little bit. It's got a little bit of a, a few shades of China in here. You know the, the oh, Genji we, uh, and the Widow. We played Chinese cheese the other day. Did you? How well did that work yeah. out? Actually, pretty good actually. It's it's a fun comp. It's a fun comp. But uh, I think I think also we went with Ana on this one because this is what we've we are more practiced on, and our diva player is not our usual diva player. Oh, you've got a ringer. Okay. It's um, not, well, t he used to be our, he was our old diva player, but he he didn't like playing with me because he said I talked too much. Oh. oh. So, oh. sorry, Justin. He also <laughs> Chinese cheese yeah. is the solo tank Zarya, triple DPS. Solo tank Zarya, your doom fist is your main tank. And then you play uh, Genji Sombra, Ana Zenyatta? The, like, the cornerstone of Chinese cheese is Doomfist main tank, Zarya solo tank. Yeah, I remember uh, I watched... I, the first time I saw it, like, actually, because I, I didn't have a chance to watch that China match, was I saw, um, like, Super playing Doomfist in the California Cup because I was watching that because my college team was in it. So I remember, like, seeing, like, Super and being like, ha, I gotta learn to play Doomfist now. I was like, yeah, <laughs> punching things. So Super was actually playing Doom in the California Cup? Yeah, he That's did. awesome. I didn't know that. They, they yeah, rolled that the on fuck? Chinese cheese. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I have to watch that VOD. I actually didn't know that happened. Yeah, it was on Blizzard World first. Okay, I'm gonna watch a little bit, and we're gonna find why you suck. Full shot. Yeah. Oh, there's plenty of reasons. Plenty of reasons. And, uh, yes, I am taking questions again, Vapen. Sorry for the break there. I'm all the way right. I don't see anyone. They have Genji as well. It might yeah. be running a mirror comp. Yep, the Widow is actually damaged. She's asleep. Widow asleep. Okay, I'm uh, gonna leave Divin apply. Divin apply on point. Divin apply on point. Divin apply on point. Divin line. Nice. Genji behind. Genji behind no dash. Genji behind no dash. Genji, dash. Genji, behind no dash. Genji one. He's gonna come point half. There's a Mercy. Mercy main. I need help, man. I need help, man. Okay, I'm gonna help you, Diva. Diva. Monkey behind. Monkey behind. Genji, no mercy, mercy, mercy point. Mercy point. One. Uh, Genji point. Genji point. Genji point. No dash. Genji mega dump. No dash. Genji one. Genji one on point. Genji one on point. Genji one still. Send, 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 send health. Okay, chat. What do you think his problem is? Cheers, Espen. Have a good evening. Bad calls, too much comms. You can't just say bad comms. You have to say what's bad about them. Didn't peel out for a health pack? Yeah, sure, that's like a micro error. That's like, little things like that are things that, you know, not going for a health pack at a certain point in a team is never going to be something that, like, blocks a person from, you know, 
great improvements. It's like minor things. No melees, too few jumps, no focus, really aggressive, target prioritization. Um, so kind of a mix. If I'd say target prioritization, he's definitely overcoming. And then um, the last one is kind of just a general awareness. And the, uh, the last two kind of go together in that he's overcoming what he sees and he's not aware of kind of what else is going on and of sort of what should be the priority. So right now, like, let's go back to here and watch this again. What the fuck? Yeah, what a grapple shot. Yeah, there was uh, And I, Zach, I assume you're walking backwards to avoid headshot damage? Uh, yeah, because we didn't know what they would roll out on first, right? So, and I, I'm waiting for the scout from our widow. And then when, when, the, when our Ana said that they were mirror, I don't think... I had been able to press tab to check their comp yet. So I was still like hiding, waiting. And then I was kind of waiting for someone to make a mistake before I poked my head out because I didn't want to get just shot in the face. So vision and scouting is much more important than just taking a little bit of extra damage. Um, I definitely don't think it's worth walking backwards on a rollout like this where initial scouting is so very critical. Yes, I am. Um, so definitely keep your head up and keep looking because your Widowmaker can see one set of sight lines, but you are the person who's able to go the farthest forward on a different sight line without being in critical danger and see different sight lines and different opportunities. So face forward, head up, and keep scouting for those opportunities. You can't be looking backwards because you're going to scout yeah. things by running into them. I'm all the way right. I don't see anyone. So all the right, don't see anyone. They have Genji as well. So they have Genji. This is all fine. You could be looking you at it for different things. Yep, the Widow is actually damaged. She's asleep. Widow asleep. Okay. So there's the Widow call that's asleep, but then you see this D.Va boost. Uh, okay. And this D.Va is here. So you're Winston. You're going against an Arbit target. What made you, like, what caused, you have both cooldowns here. Why did you attack the Widowmaker instead of going on to a support that you just scouted? or the slept Widowmaker that was just called out. What caused you to, right here, call out to go onto the D.Va? Um, so I didn't know where the Widow was, because our Ana just said sleep and didn't say where he was. So why did you ask like, where? Just... That is a great question. I usually ask where. I don't know why I didn't hear. Okay. I think maybe because I was distracted by the D.Va flying in. And then... okay. But, like, usually, like... I, I like to, like, I think that, like, getting tanks is very, like, valuable, especially, like, if the D.Va can't fly away, because then I can bubble her and she won't be healed if they're on mirror, right? Because then the Ana can't heal her through the bubble. So the Ana can't heal thinking, the like, D.Va if you're on the Ana as well. That's true. But I think from my perspective, I just felt like we were all kind of grouped up on that, like, corridor hallway, and I felt like we were we would have been able to burst her down if she was in the bubble, so I guess that's why I made that call. So you Not have two inconsistent right one, sources but... of damage right now, a Widowmaker and a Genji. So Genji is going to have his burst combos, but if he doesn't get eliminations, he can't change. He's not a sustained yeah. damage dealer. And then Widowmaker, again, who relies on headshots and is not a kind of sustained pressure hero. You're basically the only source of continuous damage on this team other than your D.Va. So if you were going to like try and just farm this D.Va a little bit, you know, you could just be... Just like say, like, I'm just on this diva or something like that, but you don't need to kind of call her as if she was a target priority here. You could just have it poked or ignore her entirely and go for a target that will result in an elimination thanks to either your Widowmaker getting, you know, a body shot or your Genji be able to come with you and combo you down. Dive targets aren't meant to go for tanks. The only times kind of tanks fight each other is if they're in this kind of like posture phase, fighting for ult charge holding onto space, looking to either prevent the dive by kind of poking a target down. Because if you as Winston here get into a fight with the D.Va, and this D.Va isn't like pants on head inept, uh, she can yeah. chip you down, either force you to use your bubble, or if you don't use your bubble, she's going to chip you down 100, 200 health with your micro-missiles. And what can you dive if you're at a 300 HP Winston instead of a 500 HP Winston? Nothing. Nothing. You can't dive. She successfully prevented you from diving. And if you're a hero and you're playing in a composition that requires dives in order to be successful, so if they're playing something like Tracer, Tracer is a hero that does have a lot higher sustained damage, or if they're playing Soldier, something like that, then if you get into these poke fights when your kind of distinct objective is to dive onto targets, then you're losing. So here, yeah. the D.Va is doing her job, preventing you from actually diving. Now, she dies... 
which makes it valuable to you, probably because you called it and were able to kill her down. But against better tar- or against better teams, the complete waste of value, time, and resources that you spent fighting a diva who's going to be getting heals because both the healers are more competent and the divas won't feed as hard, higher ranked, uh, will just waste your time or you'll just straight up demand too many resources from your own healers in order to try and contest that and you'll never get to the point where you can even dive in the first place. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Lion point, give enough lion point, give one, nice. Genji behind, Genji behind, no dash, Genji behind, no dash, Genji one. He's gonna come point half. There's a mercy, mercy main. I need help main, I need help main. Okay, I'm gonna help you do that, do that. Monkey behind, monkey behind. Genji, no mercy, mercy, mercy point, mercy point, one. Uh, Genji point, Genji point. So you're also ignoring, so not only are you over but you're ignoring other people's comms. And this is, to have, see it show up this consistently in a single fight tells me that this is going to be a major problem. So yeah, somebody else called yeah. Mercy on point and you counter called Genji, despite no one else having been on Genji and him not having used his dash yet. So what you're doing is you're distracting the attention of your own team. Is that Mercy, a character who gets her guardian angel up every two seconds, requires a very, very timely response you would only counter calm onto a genji if he doesn't have his uh, dash and he's very low but he's very high health and he has his dash and he's able to escape so now anybody who heard the counter call and says oh zach obviously saw a better opportunity he obviously looked at the mercy he realized that the mercy was not going to die but he saw that we could kill a genji instead because you only counter calm if you see a better opportunity or you think the current opportunity is unviable but you're just counter mm-hmm. because it's what you see. You yeah, individually. Yeah, and I think that's that's a problem I have a lot. Okay. So how are you going to fix that? Um, I mean, I guess it would be... Like, obviously there's, like, listen forehead, but, like, I think, like, there there's a more, like, a better answer to that. I feel like maybe it's, like, maybe taking a second before I, I calm who I want to kill. Because maybe that that way at least like I stop myself from like countercoming a bad target. The very very maybe, like... easy way to force yourself to do this is if you like right now your awareness is zero. So right now, based off I'm assuming you're watching the stream, right? Yeah, yeah. Where's the mercy? Um, I don't know. You don't know on this screen. Yeah. Chat, do you know where the mercy is? You didn't even bother looking for the target that was called. So your yeah. awareness is, we're just going to call it horrific and work our way up from there. So mm-hmm. not only is your awareness lacking because you're only focusing on pretty much the first thing you see, like the only reason you swap targets from Mini Diva to Mercy is because you saw the yellow beam and you followed it like a breadcrumb. So yeah. the thing that you need to bring up here is that if your team is calling something, you need to acknowledge and kind of like add that to, for lack of a better term, your mental model of what is going on in the game right now. So Mm -hmm. see the mercy, see if you can actually assist with it. You are the primary diver, like the people who are going to be diving, unless your diva is going for like a really aggro style um, of dives, unless you're playing kind of like 3-3 with like Ana, Lucio, and Widowmaker in the back, and then the diva's diving with you. There's really only two divers in this comp. It's you and Genji. So I'm not sure who's calling the mercy here. Do you know who's calling the mercy? Um... If you go back, I need like help in the like, I know that. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Monkey behind, monkey behind. But I don't remember. Uh, Genji point, Genji point, Genji point, no dash. Genji, mega dump. So there's a lot of voices going on there, but uh, even just like who is telling you that the. Oh, the, that was our Genji player. It was your that. Genji player, so it's who you're supposed yeah. to be diving with. You're a two man dive crew, more or less, in this composition, because the Diva should. Uh, be staying back and staying in sidelines yes. where they can assist the backline, assist the Widowmaker if they get dove, assi- like etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So, the Genji, your one and sole dive partner in this composition, is calling for your help desperately to come and help you kill this Mercy. And you're like, Genji. So. No dash. Genji one. Yeah. Genji one on point. Genji one on point. And that's definitely something I should be listening to because our Genji player is very, very quiet. Like, he almost never speaks. And it, it, it's, it tends to be a trend in that the, when the quiet people speak, it's usually yeah, it's more important. important. Send, 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 send. Send cuff.
Turn it, turn it. Then half? We lost this. Just stall, 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 stall. Never mind, get out, get out, 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 out. Come back. Okay. They have a Discord, we don't, so this is going to be difficult. So, you said that uh, they have a Discord, we don't. This is going to make it difficult. What does the Discord make difficult for you, exactly? Um, we, I think, like, just at this, because this is, like, part way into the scrim already, and they had used this, like, same Zen Mercy comp on mm -hmm. us last time, and I felt like they were just, like, they killing us like instantly, like so fast. It makes them have a lot like higher damage, way. right? But playing Zen is yeah. a trade off, and what is the trade off? The healing, and also the mobility. I guess if you were playing like on a Lucio, you're playing dive. Give me one more reason. Oh, I mean. The defensive ult as well. Nope. Zen has trans. It's just, it gives you a very easy dive target, especially if they're playing Mercy. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, Mercy's like used to be half decent, maybe ish, kinda could get away with it because you could pocket through like uh, barriers and whatnot. But now it's like fifty HPS. It can't even keep them alive from you, let alone you and a Genji. So, like, you have an Ana and a Lucio, and if you have, like, okay, so you is a Winston. Who would you rather dive on? A Lucio and an Ana or a Mercy and a Zenyatta? Well, a Mercy and a Zenyatta. A Mercy and a Zenyatta, right? Your job yeah. is set for you. If they've got a, a Zenyatta and you're taking a shit ton of damage from their DPS and their tanks because they've got that Discord, stop fucking around with their tanks and fuck with their Zen. It's yeah. Zen is a glass cannon, and it's why we consider him a greedy pick. Um, in that if you do take... Something like Ana and Zenyatta, it's such an insanely powerful support combo, but it's also really very fragile in that neither really has the ability for peel, to peel for each other. They can be very easily taken out, but if you have a Lucio and an Ana, the Lucio still has quite a bit of value, not as much as Zen if he's played to his potential maximum, but they can keep each other alive a lot more. Mercy Zenyatta... Mercy is just not good right now, and then Zenyatta is still trying to get that greed without having somebody there to keep him alive. So if the Discord's a problem, the Zen's the problem. Fuck with him, not with the tanks. Kabaji, yeah. thank you so much for the host. I have you a great... Hope you, a little, 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 the words are hard. I hope you had a great stream. Um, I'm going to turn sub mode off. So we're doing a subscriber-only uh, stream because we do those on Friday for VOD reviews so that uh, the subscribers can ask questions and get answers. But hello, Kabaji, and uh, hello, Jane Plebeians. But uh, welcome. So if you're new to the channel, uh, you're just coming from Kabaji. I, I coach for the Dallas Fuel. I also coached uh, Team Canada, and I do educational content on my stream primarily. So today we're looking at a 3800 SR ranked main tank player. This is a scrim VOD. It's not competitive. It's a scrim VOD. And we're trying to help uh, this individual, Zach. Say hi, Zach. Hello. We're trying to Friends. help Zach uh, get better at the game. So uh, welcome. Welcome, friends. Kabaji, I do appreciate uh, the host. I hope you had a great stream. And I hope you're enjoying America because uh, you're in Seattle now. Hands up. Hands up. Love it. Anyway, uh, you're Seattle, right, Kabaji? Yeah. Pretty sure that's where you ended up moving. No way this dude is 3.8. Come on. Hey, people always say that. I could show I could show a top 100 VOD on this stream and people would be like, no way that dude's GM. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to get back to into it. I'll, I'll leave the plebeians unchained for a little bit just so you guys can ask some questions. But uh, I do try and keep the spam here to a minimum so that uh, um, useful questions don't get drowned out. Anyway. Um, so yeah, if the Zenyatta oh, is... I a, think we do ahead. actually have a Twitter, whoever asked that in chat. You do have a Twitter. I, I also have a Twitter and a Twitch. A Twitter? So. No way. Yeah. Do you have a Twitch? It would be unbelievable. I do. That's, what this is. That's what we're watching. It would be unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Put, put the plebeians back in their cage. Now nah, I'll let them out <laughs> for a breath of water. Okay. Okay. I also have a Mercy. Yeah. 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 We're... Mercy too. Mercy, yes. Yeah. I, I see them. So the Hatter! Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. That's very kind of you. 10 of you will get to stay 
when we chain the rest of you back up. <laughs> <laughs> You can't type this in. Like, okay. Winston, you sleep. Okay. Winston, you sleep. Okay, I'm on Winston. Winston on the left, 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 left. I'm on the monkey, I'm on the monkey still. They're on us right now. It's fine. They used blade. Kill me, you coward. What language are your voice lines in? Oh, in German. Are you German? Nope. Okay. It's it's no it's, it's specifically because of a, I remember you were reviewing like oh because of the German Reinhardt mod the German, German, yeah and I was like <laughs> let me try this out and then I was like wait everything sounds cooler in German even Genji when he takes out his dragon blade sounds way cooler German Genji so just, okay okay yeah, I'll German. I'll buy that for a dollar I'll, I'll buy that for a dollar yeah obviously okay you got six ultimates here yeah that's fine like they. Not only did they attack you super early, but they used ultimates in order to do so. So that's that should be like, hey, you know, one of the ways that you can do, especially in like lower elo teams. And Nick as well, gifting out five gifted subs. Very generous of you. Um, if people attack early and they win early, they get less value out of that win. If they do it with ultimates as well, then that's just crazy. Like they just gave you so much value. So the opponent is making yeah. a mistake here. You should be like, yeah. And despite losing, keep the momentum, keep the morale up and keep going at it yeah like our, our dps player knows the main tank player of the other team so they're kind of trying to like flex on oh us, they're trying to flex screen. on each other there's a lot of teabagging it was like it's like they had sinatra and jake on their team because <laughs> you would know that what that's like right of course <laughs> oh excuse me Devilene, thank you so much for the 10 tier one gifted subs why is my chat so generous i have no idea because we love you. Three hugs. Way. You know, if you come down to LA, I promise that not only will I give you a hug, I'll shower beforehand. Just for you, chat. Just for you. Okay. Unlucky, just moved away. You've got uh, you've got six ultimates. I wonder how you fucked this one up. Oh yeah, big time. Actually, do we win this fight? Where's the win? I, I'm close. like, I am, I am almost positive that teams with six ultimates have a negative win rate. No. Up top, it top it is true, right. because you, you either use them all and then lose, or you try and not use them all, and rules. then you fuck it up, so. Monkey's oh, yeah. asleep back here. Come here, come here. I'm coming. I'm Ghost. coming. Three, two, one. Where? What? Son of a bitch. It's fine, it's fine. Focus, focus. Don't fine. Don't here. Bubble, bubble, bubble. bubble. Monkey, I'm on the diva, I'm on the diva. Diva, 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 diva. Diva, diva, diva. Diva, diva, diva. Diva, no fly. Mega room, mega room, half. So there's, there is merit to repeating things, but <laughs> uh, three times is usually good enough, two if it's complicated. So if you're making a plan, say it twice. If you're calling a target, yeah. say it three times. Anything more is you're wasting precious airtime. Train bike. Train bike also gifting 10 subs. That's... I don't even know how many subs you guys have given this evening, but that's insane. Vapen Asian with the five dollars says, "I had a question a while ago. If I'm a main tank, mainly Ryan, should I leave and help backline if they are getting flanked? You should retreat slowly, but don't turn your shield uh, because that opens you and the rest of your team up to even more damage." What? <laughs> Hadi sad. Hadi sad. I don't know how to pronounce that one, but. Five gifted subs as well. You got all 25? All 25 gifted subs went to Mad Brown Kid. You heard it first. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, two or three times repeating, but there's just so many things that need to be said in Overwatch. There's, like, never any point in time in which you shouldn't be talking about some sort of relevant information, right? So I have a saying that I use very, very frequently is uh, six sets of eyes, six sets of ears, right? So think about how much you talk right now because there's so much to say, because you see so many things, but there's five other people who see just as much and different things than you do. But you want to still be able to hear and get the information to all six people from all six people. So saying useless shit, because saying diva, 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 after like the third time you said it, it's, it's now just clogging information. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, they abated. You punished an overextension, though, so there's this isn't like anything's fancy you did. The opponents just fucked up spectacularly. Got on the point. Yeah. yeah. You know and I think that's just because they're main. Point, 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 point. Yeah. We have Mercy coming back. 
Oh, no. They're gonna do that huh? stuff like all the time, like push really aggressively into our backline and like feed. And... Yeah. Well, no it's not feed. This is good jump. You're gonna leave it immediately, aren't you? They're... They won the team fight. <sighs> I haven't reached have... that point in the VOD. They have Hammond now instead of Monkey. No, they have Monkey. Top right Diva. Oh, they, they don't have Hammond. Go. Oh, they just swapped it. Yeah, this is different. Yeah, our Widow just hooked top left, I think. Uh, Zen is bottom okay, right. Here. First the honor. Uh, Zen top right, I'm gonna go three, two, one, going now. So, two things here. Um, the, the first thing, hey Lab, how you doing? Uh, the first thing is that you took space? Yeah, to be honest, I have no idea why I left that spot. Like, actually zero idea why I would jump down. Um... In that moment, but... Step banana. Do 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 do. Stat banana. Where are we? Let's go to Ilios. Let's go on to ruins. Okay, so you were. Such a weird. It looks so weird vertically, but you. Yeah. <laughs> we're here, right? So one of the things is that having threats like this is really good. So if you're occupying this space right here, this is really quite decent. Because if the opponent wants to use this space, they're going to have to fight yeah, you for it. They have to force you out. Yeah, they have to force you out. Yeah. And if the opponent is going here and they're going to branch around either the right or the left side of this box here, if they do so without forcing you out, then you can get onto their back line without having line to use a free, cooldown. Yeah, without having to use jump. Yeah, without having to use jump. So you can be there, you can drop your bubble as you place, and if they use cooldowns to try and peel for you, you can jump out safely. So I liked this position. I was like, hey, this is really cool. But then you dropped off right away and backed out. Now, they're still playing Mercy Zenyatta. So what happens if their D.Va... What happens if their diva comes up to fight you? On the high ground? On the high ground. So the diva has moved up to contest you. What happens? You're there and you're just going to get fucking pummeled by fusion cannons and micro missiles. What do you do? I mean, if I was like I think like so I know like in a 1v1 matchup like Winston would lose to Diva cuz yes. she has more armor and more burst damage. But I feel like if I if I can somehow like be able to hold my position there, it might be more beneficial. Because and she would what have would allow boosters. you to hold your position? Existing there and getting healed, or I mean, I don't I don't think I really want to use my bubble there because I feel like if I want to have impact later in that position, I need my bubble. But I would just like need to be healed by Ana. What would happen? What happens if you use your bubble here? Well, I mean... What is... Okay, let like me this. ask it a different way. What is more important, this space or your bubble? That space. That space is more important. And that bubble gives you a massive advantage. Mm -hmm. You can shut down the micros and the fusions of D.Va. Yeah. And force her to take a shit ton of damage, if you shield dance correctly, and then she's going to have mm -hmm. to retreat. And you've got this little gap here at the back where you can get healed by Ana, who has really nice sight lines. So you can fight her there, and then the diva is going to be like, ah, shit. And even if she does get a mercy, this is one of the benefits that we were talking about with this Ana versus mercy thing, is that you are actually kind of favored in this posturing, because if, like, the Ana is healing you and the mercy is healing the diva, you have the advantage. Your Ana has more healing power. So you're going to be able to hold space better and control the map better. And right now, the diva, the mercy isn't even there. So yeah, be there yeah. if the diva comes to contest you. Bubble, fight her, especially when you have the advantage in the healers. Because if she retreats, now suddenly you've got this space. Your bubble's going to be coming off cooldowns, and they need to stabilize. And they can't do anything. And this effectively has given you control of this part of the map. Now, with you backing off here and your team not doing anything about the right side, instead of you having control, you being your team, instead of your team having control yeah, of have control this area over. of the map, yeah. what part of the map do you have control over? 
basically just that like one side where I dropped. You've in. got like Even then, here forward. Really, because that's basically all you've both. got, right? Yeah. So you just like gave them a ton of free map. Their widow is already here. Their diva has pushed you off. So you're just giving them free space, not fighting them for it. Yeah, and this is why I, I really want to like work on space control as well. Because yeah. I know it's so and like important. the other thing here is that you did try and contest this by jumping back up, right? But this is gonna be yeah. the, the difference between taking um space. Taking space and making space. Unle yeah. Taking space and making space, right? So you yeah. like by being here, you're making space. How many cooldowns does it require for you to make this space just existing here? Just one, just jumping. No, none, because you're already here. Well, I mean none, yeah. To take the space from the opponent, you're going to have to use jump and then bubble to fight them. But if you want to just kind of like be in this space, it doesn't cost anything. If they come up to you, you can fight them. But it's always going to be harder to move into space that somebody controls than just holding space. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. I was trying to press you. It's free real estate. Free real estate. I can't line up the shot on the Mercy. I'm so sorry. Mercy half. Okay, we're contesting here. Honor? Uh, yeah. Keep contesting. I'm coming in. Oh, oh what? I was there. There he is. Unlucky. Okay, back in yeah. spawn, back in spawn. I, I understand what you're doing, you. doing, like not getting the mega so that you could give your healers oh. ult charge. For example. Yeah. yeah, and I just, yeah. I, I feel like fine. it was a little, I, we gotta use our I think this might also be nice. factor in. Uh, we we go go just different Jump things, in. but I felt like, like they were just like mechanically oh, better than us. And like, I felt like we were just like getting killed faster. Like during this match. People with better positioning always tend to feel like if you fight somebody with good position yeah it always, always feels like they have better mechanics because their job is easier Bubble. jump up to fight this uh winston tried to deny the res nice there's a widow peeking bottom left yeah i i'm going to like, i think i might have half committed to that because i saw the bubble i was like oh, i can't get healed in the bubble but then i forgot we switched to mercy and then I didn't quite make it to break up the res. Even, even so, like, one of the other things that I'm noticing you're doing is you don't do fighting retreats very often. You just, like, straight up turn around and run away. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. So, I personally like to do fighting retreats. Our main support does not. Our main support hates fighting retreats. He thinks we get staggered all the time. We end up losing a lot because of it. So, your so, main support is playing your hero for you? Um, I mean... Like, there's a difference like between, like, main... retreating and staggering and whatnot, but in terms of, like, I mean, no, like, I'm not talking the difference between hard reset and soft reset. Uh, I'm talking about when you're fighting that Winston for control, and we'll get to this point in the VOD, it's after you die. Yeah. The bubble flickering is a new change, by the way, Chad, it's awful, I can't wait for them to revert it. I hate it, I, I, I thought it was a bug, and then it was Everyone thought it was a bug, that's why they didn't report it on the PTR. Okay, we're contesting here. It's this part, when you fight the Winston top right, I think? Or where was it? Hmm. Um, Is it after this death? Maybe I went too far back. I don't know, like, exactly where... Yeah, I, I saw it. I'm a little it. behind on the VOD, so... Is it up here? So on my perspective, they've just capped. Right. Right here. Yeah, so you go into the, like, you go into the bubble here, and then you kind of, like, walk past the Winston for some reason, which I'm not sure what you're doing. I was... So at this point, it was like, I'm trying to break up this res, but then I don't get it, and then... As soon as I see the kill feed, I think I turn around to like, and then the monkey jumps away, and I'm like, "Well, the Zen's there, so let's try and kill the Zen." Okay, but then you just like immediately leave the Zen. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. But... Well, I'm glad you don't know either. <laughs> Unfortunately, you not knowing means I can't help you, because it doesn't make sense yeah. to me either. Did someone call something? I had the VOD muted, but I don't think so. Twenty-two, thirty-two. Gonna, we gotta use our ults this fight. This is gonna be nice. nice. Uh, we don't need to rest though. Just jump in, jump in. Walk. We don't need to use anything now. Two up here, Diva and Genji. Don't let her rest, don't let her rest. Stop bubble. There you get that. Play backline, play backline. Nice. You need a touch point. There's a widow. Blading backline, but you didn't jump for the blade. You jumped Yeah, through. I think it's just the blade. Okay. So you reacted based on the blade, but you still went somewhere else. Okay, let's keep watching. Yeah. 
Peeking bottom left. Eight percent. We need to touch point. I'm going to point. Chad is saying something. I'm on Zen on point. Zen half. Zen half. That could also, but then it's like out of the. I don't know. Thank you, Lucio. Zen, 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 Come on, Diva. Diva, half on point. One, 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 one. Uh, thanks, thanks, thanks. Your jump accuracy is always already pretty low. Yeah. Like you haven't had almost any yeah, game, max damage jump landings. Mercy's As I say it, you hit okay. one on a primaling oh, monkey. She's she's yeah, it, yeah. She's one, she's one, oh she's one at the mega. That was good. Next. It's... Monkey next, monkey next. Yeah. Do you practice your jump accuracy? I do. I have I have uh, custom games for like triple juggle, just juggling in general, like jumping on top of Ana so they die instantly depending on where you land. I've done a lot of stuff in the practice range, but yeah, my mechanics are like pretty bad still, and I haven't had really time to to grind in like the practice range recently because of like college and stuff. But okay, Let's get him out. What was with this primal? Um, I thought I, I just felt like I was just gonna die, okay. and I didn't want to die. Got down to 104. Okay, you just turned around to stay alive. Yeah, I just, I didn't want to die there. Because I'd already used bad. bubble, and I was like, if I die, we're probably gonna lose this fight. And then you Genji, Genji blades. Because really dash reset, and then, but I didn't know he was gonna blade, so. Okay. But I don't know, maybe that turned That's it. fine. I, I won't nitpick. I just want to play it safe. What do we have? Just beat? Let's all play together. I'll play together. Yeah, I might get Doom ulted for really lucky. I'm gonna... So be... Gonna hide. Yeah, can you get out? Alright, no. Point alone, point alone! I'm unlucky. He's lucky, bubbled, lucky. he's bubbled. He's bubbled. Hey, buddy boss, kill him. Kill him. You're dead, aren't you? No! Big beat. I'm on Lucio. Oh, I mean... Nice. We got bomb. So you kind of got lost there. So yeah. Even? You're also like bubbling on reflex here in that uh, um, you don't need to bubble when you're fighting another Winston. He he can bubble, yeah. right, because he's fighting against a Winston and a D.Va, but you don't need to yeah. bubble in response. It's one okay, fight have, territory. Yeah, I, I think it's because like recently, like before we'd played against a lot of like where they have Ana, so I'm like, I'm going to bubble the Winston so he can't get healed. But like they have Mercy, like you don't need to bubble him. For yeah, him. so it just it feels like it's just like an instinctual, like I'm fighting, I better put my bubble down here. But if you had had this bubble, you could have had it you know, better yeah. protected for the D.Va or gone for an engagement afterwards, especially when you're doing like a poke in a posture phase, you want to save the bubble for as long as you possibly can. So, and then you just kind of get lost here. So you're in the middle, mm -hmm. you've got a jump. Where do you use your jump? Big beat. So you I just kind of use it generally vertical to do something. So you're... I think it was just to like avoid damage, help our Mercy fly away from Genji if she could. Did it accomplish any of those things? No, because we beat it and then... Even if they hadn't died been, to would it have accomplished any of those things? No. No. So you need to be a lot more methodical with your cooldowns. Um, and I think if you're actually kind of going in with a purpose, you might be able to actually like hit more of your jumps, or if you're waiting until you find a better opportunity to use your jump, um, then you might have more success with them. But uh, yeah, so definitely cooldown issues are not usually something we see in Masters, but if you if you're this high with cooldown issues, it means that you've got really good gameplay somewhere else. Um, so like your space, you've got the right ideas, you're not executing it to like what I would expect of a GM or a top 500, but like the the seeds of the idea are there, but uh, I'm actually surprised at how poor your cooldown usage is. I'm on Lucio. I mean... Nice. We got bomb. <sighs> is it even? It's even. Winston low on Winston. Mercy's hide. Uh, never mind. Not mercy. Not mercy. Just, are you even looking at anything, or are you just flipping through? No, I go really quickly. <laughs> wow, that's Dude, fast. Even? Even. No, because I just, I just try and like, I'm not looking. I Mercy's just check where my teammates mercy, are, and then as I flip through, right? So like, and then I, so I look at the kill feed and look where my teammates are. Okay, that's impressive. You're dead. Okay. Yeah. I Next think with, as far as my cooldowns go, I think right, when close. when I feel like we're in a losing deaths. situation, I think I reflexively I use them yeah. because I just don't want to die. Yep. Because I know how important staying alive is. So I think that's... Yeah. But you have to my... know your limit. Yeah. You ha like, you know, one of the things, especially on Winston, is you have to know how, like, just how far you can push it. So, you know, if you're being 
if you're being if you're playing too safe and the opponent is taking just the amount right amount of risk, they're going to get more value out of their pick, right? Yeah. So one of the skills is like, you know, ideally you survive and win the fight at one HP. Now, practically, that's not going to be a thing. Yeah. But uh, you definitely need to have um, not a not a, a riskier. You need to play riskier by being more conservative with your cooldowns, if that makes sense. Because you're just like always using your cooldowns to make sure you're always at full health and you know always staying as high in the uh, resource war as possible, it's giving you less options like mid fight. Yeah. Wait, no, we have Ghost. Reinhardt here. Okay. I, mean, I didn't I think, think we were going to get a part. Do you play I, Reinhardt? I, I don't remember playing Reinhardt in this VOD, but I guess we go Goat's forehead on this VOD. Great fire strike. Their brig was just hard feeding. Yeah. Your team is not a goats team. Um, <laughs> it's very clear that you haven't practiced goats. You have like... not practiced goats in a while. So yeah, so not. it's not it's not looking very good. <laughs> very split. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I I know at the start of this vod you mentioned you're not a goats team. Um, I'm just gonna be very nice about this and say that I don't recommend you start being a goats team. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, unless yeah. you uh, want to put some effort into kind of starting from the basics. Yep. You're better at dive so far. Better. Oh, uh, change break, change break, change break. Nice. They're on us at Mega? We can continue this. They're down. Yeah, yeah. Free ult charge real quick. On the right side. On the right, right side. One. God, I love the power of W. Get out, get out, get out. Yeah. <laughs> I love Who needs w. to know how to play the composition when you could press W into the opponents with coalescence? Easy. They have Zen on it as well. Okay, I'm just going to let it play until I find something else to talk about. Yeah, yeah they type like go Z, Z, Z. Yeah, I don't want to like. I want to kind of primarily keep working on your Winston and your space. Yeah. So that's not a topic that exists in GOATS. Okay. So. Yeah. That's that's my bad. On the, I, I thought we just played Winston and Winston on this. I have six. I got one out here. Okay, contest, contest, contest. Okay. Looks like you go back to Winston here shortly. Yeah, I. We did not combo. Sure. Swap. Yeah, we do swap. See? Oh. Knew it. You knew it. Perfect. Knew okay. it. Knew oh, it. You should play it all the time. How we fucked that up. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'll go monkey, I guess. You're going monkey. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Lucio, Moira. Are you going to do a full swap Zorro here? Go hit scan. I think we. Uh, Yuri, full swap. Yuri, yep. Yeah, your Zarya should be swapping. She's at 5% grab. She's yeah. Widowmaker now. She's so you're going grabbed. Widow Soldier? R1? Dropping? No, I don't, I don't believe. Widow Dune? I don't Pretty sure. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, the the deepest one. I'm jump above, above, above. That was a decent jump. They're primaling. It's also really unfortunate that the majority of fights that you've won so far have been the opponents feeding into you. Yeah. Kill the monkey. Kill the monkey. Kill the monkey. Kill the monkey. Don't let it like six to Okay. I'm really low. I'll move to point though. Monkey point. And there's also, like, you've shown a couple times, like, a, a hesitation to get health packs, and I think it's because you're constantly wanting to be giving your uh, healers yeah. ult charge. But one of the things here is that if you're in, if you're mid-fight, healers don't just heal, right? So, do you play support mm -hmm. at all? Um, so, so here's the thing. I'm basically <laughs> oh, this bronze is gonna be a story. every other hero. You're basically no, actually, bronze okay, at every okay. other hero. No, that's not true. My my DPS account is twenty nine hundred. Twenty nine hundred. Okay, so you're twenty nine hundred DPS, nineteen hundred support, I, I, and thirty nine hundred tank is what you're telling me. Fun fact: I was a seventeen hundred Mercy player season two. Easy boys. This makes sense. This is yeah, making so, sense according to the playstyle that I'm seeing from you. Yeah, you're kind so, of like equating missing health to finally I am giving these dumb shits of support <laughs> players something to do. Support players. I give you purpose in life. Heal me. <laughs> Peons, pets, mindless slimes. Okay, support players. If you're in a really chaotic fight, 
support players, you know, and you're being attacked by a Genji, a Tracer, a Winston. They're just on you like white on rice. Will not get off your dick. How angry are you going to be that a Winston relieves a little bit of the pressure on you by getting a Mega? How angry is that going to make you, support players? Is that going to be like, damn, I missed out on that 250 healing. That's a... Fuck you, Winston. My only purpose <laughs> in life is gone. Yeah. So healers have a lot of other things to do in their very, very stressful and important lives beyond healing your stupid, st stupid monkey <laughs> ass. Okay? They yeah. and, and if the healers don't have anything to heal, they can go on the offense. Right? They can apply their utility to the opponents. On is especially. can start like, you know, just scoped in and, and pew, 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 pew. Right? If they don't need to heal you. So, no. Grab a health pack because your supports are more than health packs. <laughs> Just, don't think of your health packs as, as your supports as like health packs with wheels and an ultimate every couple of minutes. <laughs> like, they've got things to do other than heal you. And if you take the load off of your supports, then your supports can be more effective in the game overall. So... At first, I thought it was just you wanted to stay in the fight, but there's so many opportunities that we've seen so far where you could have used health packs and haven't, and it feels like the only legitimate reason for you to have not used health packs is so that you can give your healer's ult charge. Like, it seems like an altruistic or something that you are attempting to do for a reason, but it's hurting you. Take yeah. those resources, off, like, take that load off of your supports back, allow them to, you know, allow them to just give them a five second window where they can maybe try and defend themselves against being fucked in the ass by literally everything in the game <laughs> so that if they stop left clicking you for like 20 milliseconds, you'll maybe still be alive when they come outside the other end. Right? So, <laughs> so maybe playing support would give you a better perspective on I how have, to play tank. So what I started doing, like I have like a, a 3,200 diamond account. That I've that I was like, all right, I'm gonna like only play like every other role besides main take on this this season because I want to learn like how the other heroes work besides yeah. just like yeah. in theory like oh I'm, psh, I know I I get it it's supposed to do this and this and I do this it's like but you have to like actually play I think and I think that yeah. does hold me back as well yeah play Ana so man I, I, play Ana I I have I played Ana today I I slept a nanoed Ryan while he was shattering. My favorite I feeling on Ana, if I was to give, if I was able to transfer emotions to other people, the one emotion that I would want to transfer to main tank players is the feeling of being an Ana, realizing that you're falling behind on healing because everyone is taking too much damage and then missing shots because you're worried about how much damage people are taking and then you're slowly and slowly falling farther and farther behind on heels and then more <laughs> and more critical health signs start showing up on your screen so you start panicking and you don't know who to nade and you try and nade everyone so you throw the nade in the middle of as many people as you can but you were to be too optimistic and then the main nade missed everyone and you didn't get the heal buff on anyone and now you can't save yourself and you can't save anybody else and then you get attacked so you can't even actually apply the healing to the people who need it and then you'll die! Okay, I just want to take that emotion, put it in a bottle, and give it to a Ryan player, and be like, "Drink that." Okay, healers have other things to do in their life. <laughs> Relieve the pressure. Get a fucking health pack. I will. I will get health packs. <laughs> Thank you. Bubble. Nice push. <laughs> get the monkey. Get the monkey. One. Monkey. One. Wait, Zen. Zen lighthouse. Zen lighthouse. I can only one, imagine one, all one, of those. Zen one. Critical health zone. Far. 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 Get him. Okay. Yeah. Like literally negative health. That was a bad jump. Not literally. Okay, we have both support ults. Just use beat this fight. Yeah, tracers right here at Mega. We should be able to win this fight if we can. Use Diva half. Diva half. Diva one. Diva one. Mega healing. Nice. Oh, nice. Diva one, here. Mega, oh, no, 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 where no, no, no. she's getting a Mega. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Yeah. I like it. But like, that's just like one of our general. Uh, I, I'm just, like, I'm just fucking with you, dude. That was, that, that was not a piece of criticism. 
Do I die here? I feel like I mine. should. Mine, you mine. got primal. Behind, 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 behind. One, no, 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 no. Good job, Mr. Sure. They're, they're getting good salt and salt. Fuck out of here, bitch. Fuck out of here, bitch. I punched Truth. Him. Truth. And mood. <laughs> um, so one of the things with Winston here is that... Um, so Winston does not get better the better you aim. He doesn't do more damage the more intensely you focus. He does yeah. 60 damage per second. Okay. He does 60 damage per second. That's what he does. So you need to make sure that you are applying that 60 to 60 damage per second when it is the absolutely most impactful that it could possibly be, which means not onto armored targets that are being healed, unless you can isolate that target and have her teammates mm -hmm. going with you. You can finish up targets. That's great. You've got good mobility, just a little bit of tickle, can't miss, pff, done, they're fucked, just like that Farah. But you're also playing with a, a Genji player who wants to be diving with you. So you're playing in a composition that requires a two-man dive crew and target selection for that two-man dive crew. But A, you're not working with your dive crew, and B, you're not actually seeking out the targets in which you would have a favorable matchup. And I'm going to be honest with you. This is normally a problem we see in gold and platinum, is that people um, focus on whatever they see first and attack it. Um, mm -hmm. so you, you, like when you know what your composition, you know what your composition is, how it functions, and you need to work with whoever you're diving with to both take control of the map and use that map, uh, location in order to stage a dive onto a Zenyatta or an Ana or a DPS that's exposed or anything like that. But that forethought in your gameplay is entirely missing. Okay. So mm -hmm. when you go into this, instead of kind of just like doing a rollout, and then finding a target and being like, I'm zapping it. You need to put a little bit more thought into that. You need to scout early, figure out what they're running. Based on that, you need to figure out what your positioning is. And that positioning matters based on what target you are trying to attack. So take the space that allows you to attack that target, communicate with the teammates that are going to attack the target with you, and then execute that target. That's how you need to play this. You can't just be rolling out and zapping whatever is in front of you. That's plat. Yeah. Plat is press W until you find red, and then you smash your face on your keyboard until you run out of cooldowns, and either you died or they died. That's plat. You gotta be a little bit better than that. Yeah. Boop city time, boys. Boop, Let's do it. Boop, boop city why time. Boop, like, boop city. I was like, why can't I <laughs> Lock up the plebeians. <laughs> plebeians, back in your cage. Be gone. Imagine if we had a big This is fine. Oh, no far of mercy. I kind of want to start like McCree instead of Wimpo. Then play them. Be gone, plebeians. Can we get far mercy? I think that's good. No, no far. Uh, like, if there was a way to get far mercy without mercy, I would totally be all for it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that hero. Yeah, I want to be able to heal the tanks. Right, you know what? On the right right. Side of I feel like Orisa's a great character for you. Press W, find the opponent, press cooldowns. That's a, that's a pretty good, it's a pretty good she, character. She, she has, <laughs> like, yeah. she's my least played main tank. Like, even with, like, Hammond. Left side. Out, like, coming out what? after her. Un Hammond, like, Lucky. Unlucky. I've played Hammond over 50 hours and not Orisa. Hey, everyone out, everyone out, everyone out. Everyone out. Everyone out. One, one. We're done. What was... <laughs> Your team is not happy. No. You were way too okay. close to the well. It used to be if you I remember that corner being safe if you yeah, if you were boost. shooting, but I stopped shooting at the exact time she booped me. And I think I think she momentum canceled with the rocket and the concussion mine as well. So I went flying. Well, you weren't. God damn, you you like you flip between characters so bloody fast. <laughs> Uh, uh. There it is. We got it. Okay. Since you're not, <laughs> since your thinking exceeds light speed, okay. You had a plan rolling out on Arissa, right? Mm hmm. And your plan was what? So, like, a lot of teams, like, run dive on this point that we've encountered. So, yep. what I kind of wanted to do is, like, post up in that corner so I. Don't get booped, but I got booped anyway. And then, 
like try when the monkey tries to dive our back line, I just want to pull him and then we like blow him up. Okay. Did but you then, confirm that they were running that? Is them playing McCree and Farah instead of Tracer and Sombra change your opinion at all? Or did you, you knew what you were going to do regardless of what the opponent ran, regardless of where they went. You just knew what you were um, going to do. Well, I knew, like, I knew we wanted to roll out on this. Um, I think that maybe against McCree, like, um, I might, might not be in as good a shape on Arisa. Like, did you think about McCree that previously, bar. or did you think about that now? I'm thinking about that currently. Okay, so why didn't you because, think about like, it then? Um, probably because we just wanted to practice this comp in scrims. Okay. But Turning your brains that, off and playing characters doesn't include practice. It's just going through the motions. Yeah. So there's a couple things here. So the first thing is that just like on Winston, just like on Hammond, just like on any other hero like Reinhardt or whatnot, your decisions and your playing is always dependent on not just what the opponent is playing, but how they are playing it. So they're playing yeah. dive, but what are they doing? What is the difference between a Farah and a McCree dive and a Sombra and a Tracer dive? Um, well, in Sombra Tracer, right, you... You like want to get like flank pressure in first. You want to wait till like the tracer or sombra like gets around to the back. Like you want to try and get like a hack off on someone and then go in together from different angles. And then on again, and then the Farah McCree. I would say they're trying to get like chip damage in from the far rockets and then finish it off with McCree. They also have mercy for Farah, so like Farah Mercy com combo, or like maybe like Farah directs someone and then like. Monkey goes in, like lands on that person. Diva goes in with him, lands on that person. Good you enough. Come instantly. Good enough. You're pretty close. G good enough. Okay. Now, what about those two different compositions would change how you are playing Arisa? Um, well, against the ones with flankers, more so. Like, I think personally, like I can't really like halt like Sombra out of a hack. Really, or, like I can't. I can't, like, really halt... Tra I mean, I guess I could halt Tracer and kill her. I feel like that would be more difficult. So I guess in that way, I would just be trying to control, like, the sight lines more. And then... Or, like, send us up in a position where it's harder for us to get flanked. And then against this comp, I think it would be trying to use my halts to slow down their dive. Or maybe... Okay, we've... Rotate stop. more to try I was, I was Stop, stop. I was interested oh, to see how far you were going, but... Um, driving down the wrong side of the road. What's been like the main topic that you wanted to work on and that I wanted to work oh, on space with Space control. Space control. What the fuck changes in space control between going against a proactive dive with flankers and a reactive dive with long-range heroes? Controlling those flanks, then? Yes, obviously. If you can control flanks, you can control flanks. But who is actually able to take the space or control the flanks for the opposing team. Um, on their current comp? Yeah. They're, they're dive tanks, right? They're dive tanks, right? And remember how in the first map I said that the D.Va was doing a good job because if she chipped away 100, 200 HP of your health or forced you to use a cooldown, it would prevent you from being able to dive? Yeah. So what should your main objective be here on Arisa? Trying uh, to contest to a Tracer or a Sombra or to poke down the tanks so that they can't execute a dive. Poke down the tanks. Poke down the tanks. And if you give, the, if you take the kind of space, it does not, it was a trick question in terms of where you position. Because your positioning on Orisa matters less about what the opponent is doing, regardless of what kind of dive they're playing. And it matters more about who you are making the space for. So McCree and Hanzo are people who are going to want to want um, these longer sight lines. You don't want to have um, areas where like Farah can get control around high ground geometry or anything like that. So the yeah. uh, the space that you take on Orisa is going to be based on what your team needs and then your objective, since you are not going to be very good at fighting any sort of DPS, your objective is going to be to fuck with tanks to prevent them from being able to dive. Yeah. Okay, we got left side then. All right, directly above top left. This is a pretty monkey, decent spot. Great. Fuck Winston. Get out of here. Monkey's low, no jump. 
Is that baby the other behind? I can't see anybody. I'm pulling monkey. So you're using halt pretty, uh, so again with your cooldown management, there's not really a lot of point in halting a monkey who's already used his jump and has his bubble up. The only person who's going to be damaged that monkey regardless of the halt is you because you walked into the bubble with fortify, yeah. which you can do because you can stay alive. So, you like, we're still at the point where we see red people and we press buttons. I'm moving the point. So you also kind of like, um, you walked into the open without cooldowns, which like your main job is to be able to control that space so that your team, your roadhog and your DPS can operate within it. You kind of place your shield at like little choke and then you just like fucked off into Narnia and then starting fighting a mini diva around a corner. Right? Your Roadhog can't assist you unless he goes back through the mini room, and the space, the area that you had tried to attempt to, like, the that you attempted to establish for your McCree and Hanzo was not very useful. And they were fighting a Farah who was directly above them. All right, everyone come so this back. is uh, not going well. Is uh, Risa going to work? Uh, yeah, I keep pulling the monkey, but we Back up, back up. Big hook. Nice hook. You got stunned. Back up, into spawn. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we have a pick. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, pick, 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 pick. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Straight Another fight that you guys are winning because the opponent just insists on feeding yeah. them, feeding their corpses to you. Put the shield yeah, on the corner. Right? Yeah, this VOD is 3,800 chat. Yeah. Why did you fortify? Um, where exactly? Like, on the... Oh, here? I have no idea. That might have been a misclick of me trying to crouch or something? I have no idea. I don't know why I would fortify forward, there. The monkey. Pulling that monkey, pulling monkey. He's trembling. Stay by the pool. Like, there's go no go incoming go damage. Go like, like, I don't think one? the fire is used to concussion just then. So. Monkey's in here. He has no more primal. I'm bongoing here. You're way out of you power. Point. You have one point. You have one point. You have one point. You have one point. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Actual one, actual one, actual one. Pulling monkey, pulling monkey. Mercy, 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 mercy. Got him. Can we kill the monkey, please? <laughs> How are you winning this? The monkey is really low. Push him, push him, push him. Don't think I know where I'm going. Please kill monkey. Yeah, I don't know. They killed our bongo, so... I don't know how we... Come here, come here, come here. To be honest. Fuck. How did he get that around you? Everyone back out. You're down my heels. How far back? Play in the corner. Like back Lucio, come get me. Oh, now you're playing Doom with Arissa Hog. That is unlucky. Yeah, he just went to get back to the Yeah, he just went to get it. Says you've ended up on a weird comp trying to contest, but nobody on your team can contest or assist your Doom Fist against a Farah and a McCree now, which means this is not going to end well. It, I think. I think we hold out for like maybe like to like fifty percent, but I think eventually they. Yeah, well, right now you've got stuffed, right? So this is what. <laughs> um, yeah, and you've like, got we can't, stuffed. Like our doom fist pretty can't hard. get anywhere. Right. So this is this is some of the things that the opponents really did really well. They corralled you because you can't take space without getting pressured, and you specifically can't pressure back. But then they have yeah. characters who can, like, since they have surrounded you, they're able to apply a pressure from a lot of different angles. And you simply can't do really anything back. So you might be able to kind of live for a little bit, but you can't really do anything. The entire pace of play is dictated by the opponents. Is there anything, like, we could do, though? Like, what would, what would be the With right With your current focus? composition? Yeah, like, is there any way we could, like, salvage this on this comp? Like... One you do have Lucio, so one of the things that you can do is aggressively rotate. Could we have rotate? tried to, like, speed speed rotation and then yes. like, have Doom sit on some high ground and then as we rotate, catch him in rotation with a Doom Fist? But I, f I don't know. So if you have Lucio, if you have Lucio, right? Okay, so you can hold this corner, this corner, this corner, or this corner is Arissa. Really, any one of these four corners, right? So if the Farah, for example... Uh, you know, if the tanks want to move up towards... So you're going to start at position one, right? So yeah. if the McCree goes over here, if the dive tanks go over here, where should you rotate? 
to number two or number three? Did the dive tanks use cooldowns to get to one? Yeah, no, the dive tanks are on Lighthouse. We'll just call it L. So the dive tanks had to use jump and boosters, obviously, to get to L. Okay. Where do you go? If you, McCree you go is on forward three? on three? Yeah, so McCree is sitting in this little doorway between the two minis. Okay. Where do you go? I mean, if they're... I feel like we could probably contest McCree, but I feel like two is safer. Why? You can't just say two is safer. That's an well, answer. Well, I think two is safer because I think that's more out of the sight lines of the McCree if he's inside of that building. Why do you care about the sight lines of the McCree? Don't you have a McCree of your own? Well, he's on Widow now, I think. Okay. If this was an initial rollout. We're talking initial rollout. Oh, you, initial rollout. You rolled okay. out on Lucio Arissa Hogg. Um, then, then I would Hanzo, go three. Yeah. You would go three. Why would you go three? Because I feel like we could pick off that McCree with just a halt hook combo if their tanks aren't there. Okay. Why not two? Uh, because I'm greedy and I want the pick. Okay. What is bad about three? You can get pincered from three because tanks are at L. So you're aware you can get pincered from three? Yes. So why would you put I, yourself there? So the, like mean, the, uh, the point of the main are the enemy dive tanks taking lighthouse is so that they can close the gap on you in safety and then be at the side here while the far is here and the McCree can kind of poke from here. They want to pincer you. Just like you got stuffed in lighthouse, right? You got stuffed in here. This yeah. is the point in the VOD we're currently at. Okay, let's try something different. Let's try something different. Loading, loading, loading. Initiating match. Yes, yes, yes. That's loud. Ready for battle. <laughs> Where are we? Where's the other maps? Five, four, three, uh, we are two, over there. One. Round two. Capture the objective. Okay. So Let's look at this here. So what are the two teams running? Both of them are running, right? Yeah, they have the Arisa Diva. Is this the one where they rotate around each other? Um, I think so. I remember watching this. So. Or maybe... I think it, it's after. I think they have a long poke phase. And I think Fleta initiates rotation. I don't remember. So after we actually got the cap here. Uh, so they're just fighting around Lighthouse in this corner. Yeah. Pass into the, into the uh, Is it next fight they do it? Do, 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 do. 
Here we go. China's swapping goats. This will be it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so here, you can think about this as Goats wants to be able to close the distance onto the Orissa composition in yeah. the same way that, like, Dive's goal is going to be try and surround, split up, uh, apply a lot of pressure from a lot of different angles, find targets, uh, and just stuff them, take them out that way. So, look at how South Korea is going to play this. So, they see them going through Lighthouse, and they've immediately rotated away. Yeah. Right? And they're going to do this basically repeatedly. They always want to stay a large gap, and they're using that Lucio to keep their distance. And we'll try to find I'm some distance. If anyone gets close, Fate halts them backwards, and they just keep rotating. Well, Fate can halt them backwards. Fury can boop them bas backwards. Animo can boop them backwards. Animo is also going to be speeding them away. But the point is that they're going to be rotating as much as they can in order to stay out of danger and still play their game. Because Orissa never mm -hmm. wants to go shield to shield with a Reinhardt. Yeah, shield to shield with Reinhardt. Never oh, wants to have that happen. That. Yeah. And the same way that uh, you don't want a Winston with full health and full cooldowns to be able to get on top of you either. Because they can go on, they mm -hmm. can just drop their bubble, they can get a shit ton of cleave because you're all clumped together. And then they can just, you know, fire a splash damage or Genji Swift Strike. So this is kind of... Yeah. Like, rotations, especially on Ilios Well, are just so important here. China tries to go this way. Animo tries to find the boop here. For your defense matrixing. And then Shy was on the other side as well to kind of just stop that rotation finally. Yeah. Gets taken out, though. How does Flutta not die here, though? He's Brigida. I don't know, he's there. Well, that's true. He is Brigida. Yeah, so pretty simple. Do they do it again? Ninety-six percent. They're on the point. Stay away. Let's play keep away. Keep the distance. They're playing a little bit split to collapse on them. Uh, but just that game. So like the way that China had to attack them is because both teams had Lucio here. The way that China had to attack is they had to go split and go kind of like around the well itself. So they're gonna send yeah. like. Four people around left side, and then two people around the other side. All right, so I think it's going to be leave and who on the right side? Just leave. Okay, so late young. So this time they just kind of just collapse five on one side, one on the other mm -hmm. onto it so they can't rotate. Um, I think Korea probably could have rotated one more time. They certainly didn't have to. But this is the idea that when you have Lucio, rotations in order to keep yourself in a favorable position and kind of remove the opponent's advantage or the advantage that they are trying um, to actually get is always going to be much more powerful than the alternative. So let's get out of here just with that. So now that we've actually looked at that game from China and South Korea, right? So you on Orissa are right here. The dive tanks have moved up behind Lighthouse over here. And then we've got a McCree here. So we'll say McCree there, dive tanks there, and we'll say like Farah's hanging around here. Okay? Where do you rotate on Orissa? Do you rotate to three, one, or four? From the last image? From X right here. So this is the position where you rolled out on. Do you go to one, mm -hmm. three, or four? Oh, one then. You would go to one, right? So yeah. you initially said three because you wanted to get out the pick on the McCree here. Yeah. So is the pick, I mean, is picking the McCree your primary win condition? I mean, not necessarily. Is like, just does that a no? Well, I mean, what? Okay. If it's a very simple question, it's either yes, that's your primary win condition, or no, it's not. Well, no, it's not. No, it's not. What is your primary win condition when you're playing Orissa against Dive? Kill the monkey. You don't have to kill the monkey. I mean, how do you other win than the that, game? I guess just like like rotate and keep kiting them. You win the game by capping the point and getting to a hundred percent first. What you're effectively playing is called anti dive. It's not counter dive. That's a version of playing dive. You're playing anti dive. You want to make it as difficult for the opponent to execute a dive, which is their only win condition. And when they do execute it, you punish and kill them. And if they don't execute a dive, then you will slowly just cap the point and gain percentage until they are forced to either contest or lose the game. They will contest, they will die, and then they'll lose the game. Yeah. Yes. So why do we move to one? 
because we want to rotate to be able to poke the tanks down before they can dive in. Like Make it as like hard as calls. possible for them to dive and make sure that we're not losing resources. Because if they're able to bleed us from resources while we can't fight back, then they're going to be mm -hmm. dive. And with all us at full health and with them not having to have had used any cooldowns to actually posture, then we're going to die. A terribly mm -hmm. painful death. At three, you're playing into their hands. That's correct, Count Calculus. Now, what about this McCree presents an opportunity to you? Well, because it seems like, like he's alone, right? And we could just, like, halt hook him. Into Why the halt hook him? I mean, like, just, like, simply, like, like we could kill him that way. But, like, it, I guess, like, that's not, like, the most effective thing to do in this situation. What would be the most effective thing to do in this situation? To prevent their dive, right? And if their McCree is just there, prevent like, or take their dive, down. yes. So who's going to win? A McCree with an Orissa shield or a McCree? A McCree with an Orissa shield. A McCree with an Orissa shield. So why do you need to care about the McCree? And if you do care about the McCree, is the Lucio? On the opposing team, sitting with the McCree? No. No. Isn't he with the tanks? He's with the tanks. Yeah. So just run him over like a fucking truck. Okay, do you just want me to say okay? Like I'm just, I was just, I was just <laughs> yeah, okay. Like, like, yeah, I'm just, I was waiting for you to say something nice. I was just, like, okay. Do you have any questions? Because that's like the the end that I was trying to get to. You either make him useless, useless, or you speed on to him. Yeah. Okay. No, I I understand. Yeah. Okay. You feeling okay? <laughs> yeah. You sure? You don't hate me yet? No, I don't hate you. Obviously, haven't done a good enough job then. I would. I think we would need to get to like uh, brutal insults about my stature or something. Okay, I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll make notes for next time then. Um, I don't want to beat you to a bloody pulp. I feel like uh, this is probably. I, I put a lot of info into this one. This is probably going to be one that I think you should rewatch because there's a lot of lessons here. And I think even as you rewatch this, um, you'll. I think you'll learn more from rewatching this and analyzing the original wrong answers that you gave. Mm -hmm. So I think that there's insights to be gleamed here for you as an individual by looking back and seeing what was your thought process that made you say three instead of one. You know, little things like that. So yeah. the places where you made an error, don't consider it as being kind of like, oh, I made my error. Now I know what the right answer is. Go through this again, where you were corrected, where you made a mistake or where you weren't sure. Go through and think about why you were under more or less a false understanding. Um, and I think that'll kind of give you at least a clue to where you need to improve in Overwatch. In terms of your actual micro yeah. play, you need to understand what... Uh, will get most value out of your cooldowns. So mm -hmm. um, don't waste them. Understand kind of what situations you're looking for that will get a lot of value out of them. And then just make sure you're using your cooldowns for as maximum value as possible and actually thinking about them. Don't waste them. Cooldowns are like health pools or like yeah. high grounds. They're options. And just by using all of your cooldowns so freely without so much thought... You're eliminating, you're eliminating any of the more potential, more creative options or more effective options. So much more, much, much more conscious thought into how you're using your cooldowns is going to be very important for your microplay. Your awareness needs to work on your calls. You need to call less, repeat less. The calls you make are good. You say them too much and it's clogging okay, the comms. Yeah. I need you to listen to your teammates when they make calls. If somebody calls a mercy... Before you go onto a target that is not the mercy, because you're allowed to do that, you don't have to follow the calls religiously. 
If you choose to ignore the call, I want you to make sure that you at least know where the mercy is and the status of her before you make that judgment to do something else. Okay? When you yes. roll out, when you roll out, the first target that you see should not be the first thing that you attack. Okay? When you roll out, if you haven't thought about it previously, think about, should I be attacking this? Right? If you're looking at the, uh, the enemy team and they have a Zenyatta, look for the Zenyatta. Figure out how you can attack the Zenyatta. Attack the weak things first, not the first things you see, because the first thing you see will never be a weak thing. Yeah. Okay. And then just the rest of the team-based stuff will come with time and practice. Okay, yeah. Okay, do you have any questions? Um... So like, like more specifically, like if I'm if I'm playing like Winston, right? Like, and we're and we're getting like dove a lot, like like burst down. Mm -hmm. Would it be like like how exactly do I prevent like like our backline from getting exploded as Winston? Like, because sometimes like it happens where our on is like that, just like no one's peeling for me. I'm going Moira. Like I can't play Ana. Yeah, well, your like, yeah, your Ana is yeah. probably not very smart if she's doing that. <laughs> Um, so there are, there absolutely are situations and matchups and mirrors where it becomes a race against time about who can kill the other's backline first. And this was basically full dive versus full dive. When it was mm -hmm. Lucio, Zen, Tracer, Genji, Winston, Diva, the Zen was always dead. Each and every single fight, always dead first. And it wasn't a question about whether or not the Zen would die. It's about how long that Zen could stay alive and how much value they could get before they died. Okay. So there are situations in which your backline will die, and that is acceptable. That is acceptable. There are situations. There are fewer situations in the current meta where that is an acceptable strategy, but it can happen. So don't feel like you always need to have your backline surviving fights as dive. If they're going for your backline, you as Winston kind of suck ass at peeling. What are you going to do? Slowly yeah. tickle somebody with a Tesla cannon while your supports scream bloody murder? <laughs> like, may as well make their support scream bloody murder. And the other worst thing about trying to peel as a Winston against Dive is if you peel for the Winston, what are their supports free to do? Just heal him. Just heal him, heal lol, forehead. Yeah. And what are your supports yeah. not free to do? Just heal you, lol, heal forehead. For, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so it, you get way more value, especially in the dive v dive situation, even if you like jump and break the LOS or force both healers to look at you instead of the assisting mm -hmm. the dive onto your backline, right? You don't even have to kill them to remove. It's called isolating. You don't even have to kill yeah, the yeah. backline, if, especially if they're playing Ana and Zenyatta, be like, nope, just drop a bubble and sit there and wave at them and teabag. If you leave the bubble, yeah, you're going like, to get Discord uh, like slept, anti didn't fuck. You were showing? Yeah. Like that clip of Gushue, yeah. where he just attracts the attention of four members for almost 10 seconds. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So, no, you should not be peeling. If you can set up, if you can stage, if you can communicate and scout a dive faster and execute it more efficiently, the opponent, then you will win. If you All want right. to tank a dive, play counter dive or play anti dive. Don't play dive. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, let's leave it there. Thanks for coming on, and thanks for subjecting yourself to yeah. the harassment that is my coaching. But uh, I oh, hope you learned a dude, lot, Chad and I hope you would improve. Chad was also brutal today. Jeez. Chad is not a friendly person. <laughs> Chad is not your ally when you're I being feel, reviewed. I feel like I need to send them my account to prove my rank. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you seen the Slayer Gramps VOD review on YouTube? Um, Slayer Gramps took... Or chat took Slayer Gramps, a 4,400 contenders player, to fucking town for a straight <laughs> hour. Don't feel bad about it. <laughs> Don't feel bad about it. Chat, chat does not discriminate. Chat is not racist. Not. Chat is not sexist. Chat loathes each and every player equally, including you. Anyway, thanks for uh, coming on and thanks for submitting the VOD. Of course, thank you so much for your help.